In Java, the object class serves as a base class for all other classes. And one of the methods that you get from the object class is called toString, which returns a string representation of an object. And this method is typically overridden to make it do what you need it to do. And let's take a look at an example of toString. Let's see what it does by default and see how to override the method to print out a better string representation of an object. So back to our inheritance example, we have a class called person, and which has a name and an age, and a class called student that extends person, which inherits the name and age, and also adds a student ID to the student. And in our demo, we create a student object. We have two student objects, A, which is Mary, that's 19, and B, which is Bob, that's 20. So to print out the information of object A, we would call the a.display method that we created earlier in a previous video, and it just displays Mary's information. She's 19 years old, and here's her student ID. What would happen if we did this instead? Say we instead of calling the display method, we said system.out.println A. What is that going to do? Let's run the program and see. We get this thing, which is a reference to the memory address location of where Mary is stored. That is the reference variable A, and which is not useful to us. And also, let's check this out. A dot two string. Here's a two string method that comes from the object class. And without making any updates to this method, without overriding it, let's see what it does. And it looks like it does the exact same thing is just printing out a regular A. So it gets called automatically. So we know that it comes from the object class because it says object.toString. So we can override this method to make it do whatever we want. So let's go to the student class and I'm going to add a new method, public string to string. Make sure it has the same method name. It returns a string and no parameters. And we can return whatever we want whatever we want and that method now replaces what the two string method for object did and to prove that let's go back to demo I'm not going to make any changes here and watch what happens when I rerun the program now when I print out object A it just says whatever we want and object A dot two string does the same thing whatever we want which is not what we want so let's go back to student and make it actually return some useful information let's return the pers the student's name so we'll say get name plus is get age plus years old and ID number is the student ID which we don't have to call the get method because we're already in that class so this is a little bit more useful it's a string representation of the two string method Let's go back to demo and run the program. That looks a lot more useful. So we can print out object A and we can print out object B without calling a display method by just simply passing the object itself, the reference variable to that object, to the print line statement. And now if you were to look at the toString method, it says it comes from the student class, not, no longer from the object class.